hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to get data from an api in curl application in php so we will be getting this json data from this github api the link is there you can see that api.github.com slash users so just make an index.php file here i am running this on exam control panel so first of all make a php tags here like this close the tag here and inside this make a variable of curl and first of all we need to initialize the curl command which is pretty simple we will use this curl underscore init method like this put a semicolon and after that we just need to set some options here we will use this set opt array method so here we will provide some options so it set multiple options for a curl transfer so first of all we will pass the cur and then this square brackets so here we will provide some headers so the first header we will provide is curl option underscore return transfer so this value needs to be one so arrow symbol one like this comma and then we just need to provide the url so curl option underscore url so here you need to provide your api url so this is my api url https api dot github dot com slash users and there's the additional option which is curl option user agent so basically you can just name your api request by the use of this option let's suppose i give it a constant name of github api in curl so after providing the options we just need to execute this uh, request so in order to execute it we will use this curl underscore execute method and then we will pass our curl object like this and we will be storing the response which is coming back in json format in this response variable now we can just print it on the screen by the help of echo statement echo response like this so now basically if i refresh the script here index.php you will see a json response will be coming here if i zoom in you will see exactly the same response that is coming here inside this you can see that this is the exact JSON response that we have get through curl command and lastly you will also need to close the connection as well after you perform the request so in order to close the connection we can just have curl underscore close and then we will pass our CURL reference so it closes the connection after you make the request so this is a very pretty simple PHP script which was written in curl in order to make a simple http get request to an api and a json response is returned to you so thanks very much for watching this video